love this song. Hello, my little crafty monsters. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous. So, in today's fabulous tutorial, are you guys ready for this? In this fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making these little snow globe bad boys. Little bit of get that cute. Aren't these adorable? So we're gonna be making these little bad boys. I'm gonna show you guys step by step on how I put these together. Now you can put them together however you guys want, but this is the way I did these little bad boys. And they're half dome snowballs. Aren't these cute? So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, you don't need that many materials. Some of the materials, you can find them at Michael's right now. They're probably on sale if they still have any. Um, and other supplies, you probably already have them. Everybody has a stamp set, right? So, um, and a hot glue gun. So definitely, definitely, these are an easy project. You could even have the kiddos make their own little ornaments to put up on the tree. How cute would that be, right? Or to give these away to somebody as a little gift, you know, co-workers, whatever you like. So. Um, we're going to be making these little bad boys and um, I'm going to show you step by step. So without wasting any more time guys, let's get down to the desk and let's make these little bad boys. Hello my little crafty monsters. So in this tutorial we're going to be needing some DSP paper of your choice. Make sure that it's kind of a strong DSP paper and not so flimsy. And then you're going to need some of these ornaments that I purchased at Michael's because you're only going to need half. You're going to need some snow, some glitter, some mixed media paper, DSP paper. This is the DSP paper packs that I used. I used at Christmas, the little pet ones. And then this is a paper pack from last year. So I don't know if you're going to find it this year, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of DSP paper out there that you guys could use. This is the mixed media we're going to use to stamp and then color with our Tombow watercolor markers and we're going to use the Stamp Perfect to make sure that the stamps are perfect. <laughs> and then we're going to cut this down to five and a half because these are 10 inches and well, they're 11 inches, sorry. And then we're going to cut them to five and a half so that we can go ahead and stamp our little images that we're going to be using. So we're going to be using several stamps. We're going to be using um, this little reindeer stamp that I have purchased at the Scrapbook Expo um, last year. Yeah, 2017. So I don't really know who this stamp is by, but I'm pretty sure that if you're going to use reindeers, there's a lot of reindeer stamps out there that you guys could definitely, definitely use. Michaels has a really cute stamp, a reindeer stamp that I used for a Christmas card. So, I mean, you guys will find something. And these are the little reindeers. Aren't these cute? Now, you could use any kind of character that you guys want. I mean, there's so many different stamps out there that you guys could use. These are just the stamps that I wanted to use. Um, also too, just so you know, when you are picking the stamps, you don't want to pick stamps that are too, too big. Because if they're too big in the front, then they're going to take out a lot of the visual view from your background. So you want to make sure that the stamps are kind of small. And then these stamps here, the little village and snowman, those are from my snow globe. That's from Long Farm. And that's a snow globe, Long Farm. I believe that it's two years old already. <laughs> so I don't know if you could still get this stamp, but there's a lot of snowmen out there. If you could get your hands on this one, kudos to you. But if these are completely out, then like I said, I'm pretty sure that there's other snowmen that you could use. So all we're doing is just stamping, cleaning and putting our stamps away. 
Make sure you clean them guys and dry them completely so that they last you longer. I mean, you pay so much for these, might as well make them last. This stamp set is from May May. Oh my God, guys. I love May May. She's so creative and she makes these amazing stamp sets. I've been, I would say, I've been a stamp member for a few years already. So I have quite a bit of May May stamps. <laughs> But when she came out with these little dog and cat ones, I was like, girl, <laughs> these are it. So go ahead and stamp them. She made it to where the little back part of the body and the front part of the body are separate. But if you stamp them kind of close together, all you have to do is just get a black marker and connect those lines. And that's a whole full set right there. That's a stamp right there. So I... Stamped a little Christmas tree from a lawn fawn. And then I did the little cat and dog from May May. So I need to do another little Christmas tree because I'm doing one cat one and one dog one. And these are the stamps that we did, guys. So now it's time to color these in. This is gonna actually be tedious. This is gonna take a while. This is probably where all the time went <laughs> to try to color these. I did these just solid colors and then I also blended them in with our water, um, our water brush just to kind of dilute and make them light. But if you guys use Copics, if you guys use Tombow markers, if you guys use artistic, lo loft, whatever it is that you guys use, color pencils, it's all good. It's whatever you're more, most comfortable with. I don't know why I can't talk today. <laughs> but anyway, so whatever you're most comfortable with, use that guys. Markers, watercolors, crayons, anything you like, boo-boo. So now you guys know that I can't see color, so I can't blend, I can't do like all these extravagant little blends of colors and stuff like that. It's just super, super hard for me because I cannot see. But the way I color is the way I'm able to color. So I'm pretty sure some of you guys could really get into detail on the shading, on the dark parts, on the light parts or whatever. By all means, hey guys, go have at it. But for me, since I can't see color, this is the way I color. Now, if you guys think that this is a way that is just like completely uh, not doable for you, I'm so sorry, but it's doable for me. <laughs> Now the little cat and dog, I try to make them look like the dogs and cats that are in my home. And for the little village, I actually use pastel colors. Because I wanted them to be light, but I didn't want them to be too bright or too, you know, too like, hey, look at me. But I did want them to be a little bit light, so. I use the pastel.
Now I use this um, gray scale palette by Tombow. And this is just to give them kind of like a little grayish tint to them. This one, I'm gonna make it like a little gray tabby because Matthias, you guys, you guys know Matthias. He's a little gray tabby. Now, <clears throat> this little cat has two eyes and Matthias is completely blind. But for the most part, this is him. And then I'm gonna color my dogs. This is gonna be like Chompers. She's like a little um, Doberman kind of colors, black and brown. So I kind of try to make her black and brown, but I'm not really good at the blending because I can't see the color. Yeah. So like I said, I'm trying to make these like my little, <laughs> my babies at home. Matthias too, like I said, guys, he's a little partially blind. He lost an eye at four months and well, he's eight months now and he's about to lose the second eye. So he, um, I mean, even though he has that one eye, that eye is not really working. So he's completely blind, so he's going to be losing that eye. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead now and just continue to color all of our little images that we're going to be using for the inside of our snow globe. And um, there is no right or wrong way to do this, and you don't have to use these little images, obviously, if you don't have them, but if you do have them, then uh, by all means, <laughs> do the same little project. But if you don't, like I said, don't worry about it, guys. I mean, use what you got. So this is my attempt to blend. <laughs> this is how I blend. So just blending and blending. <laughs> and I'm always cleaning my little uh, water pin. Right here I'm just putting that little black line to connect those and you will never know the difference. Then I'm just coloring in all the rest of my little images. And I'm gonna also use my water pen just to kind of like move the color. And it just gets lighter as it gets higher just to give it a shadow. <laughs> My attempt to shadow. Little Matthias is roaming around on the floor right here. So if you hear him, that's just him being vocal. So now, um, at this point, whatever images you guys have, you guys are just going to go ahead and color those. And, um, and you could, um, like I said, use whatever it is that you have. There's so much out there that you guys could use. I mean, even if you were to use stickers, but I mean, I try to stay away from the stickers. I like to make them a little bit more personal, but... If for whatever reason you have to, I mean, there are so many stickers out there. Just make it unique, make it cute, you know? Like, back the sticker on a piece of paper and cut it out to make it kind of like a frame so it's a different color and then do another color and just, like, you know, just play with everything and you'll be amazed on what you guys come up with. And it's like you're kind of embellishing it in a way. But for the most part, I'm just using this stamp set by Lawn Fawn because <laughs> I love Lawn Fawn stuff. So the little village and the little snowmen are from Lawn Fawn. And the little reindeers on the top are, I don't remember who the makers are of that, but I had purchased those at the Crafting Expo, the scrapbook in Ontario.
So now it's time to cut these little bad boys out, guys. We definitely have to get to it because, you know, we gotta put these little bad boys together. So um, now whatever images you're using, if you don't have coordinating dies for your stamp sets, you definitely will have to fussy cut them, which is no biggie. I mean, I, I don't mind fussy cutting, but I'm sure that there are some people that don't really like to cut. So <laughs> whatever you guys decide on, but for the most part, I have the coordinating dies for all these little stamps. So I'm going to be cutting these little bad boys out with that. Aren't these little snowmen cute? I really like them. They're kind of small. I like them because, you know, they're perfect size for any kind of shaker. So they worked perfect for this little shaker ornament. But for the most part, because um, those were intended for this little shaker card that you make with long fun. It comes with a, with a cute little, um, well, it doesn't come with it, but it's they, they sell it separately, like the Long Fawn uh, Snow Globe Maker. It's really cute. And so you could put these little bad boys in the little snow globe to make a little scenery. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out these little trees. These are from another stamp set by Long Fun. It was um, some little reindeer ones that I have. And then um, the little cat and dog. Well, there is no die set for those. Those are actually from May May. So we're gonna fussy cut those, which is no biggie because I mean, she designs a lot of her stamps so that you, it makes fussy cutting them easy. So, um, so it's no biggie. I mean, if you have this stamp set, then go ahead and just fussy cut them. Isn't it cute to make a little snow globe out of just all cats and then one of all dogs? I mean, I don't know. So it's a little bit for everybody. If you're a cat lover only, or if you're a dog lover only, or if you're a both lover. <laughs> That's not a word. Yes, it is. Don't judge me. So right here, we're just ready to put these little bad boys. So now we're gonna get the little snow globe and we're gonna trace it. I trace the back part because nobody's really gonna see it in case, you know, you could see the the line. It, you're definitely gonna see the line because I cut on the outside of it just to give it that little extra, you know, because we're gonna be gluing that little snow globe onto this part. So you want it to be a little tiny bit bigger than your snow globe. And you're really not going to really notice it because we're going to put another piece of paper on the back of that that's a little bit bigger. So right here I'm just tracing and I'm just cutting. And then because each snow globe is the in like... So basically let me explain. One pack of snow globes is intended for you to use it as one little ball. But because we're not using it as one little ball, we're just using you know them separately. One of them is a little tiny, slightly smaller than the other. So this is important that when you trace it and you cut it, you keep that paper with that dome, that specific dome. That's all I'm saying. Because <laughs> some of them are slightly smaller because it's intended to go inside the other one to snap. If that makes any sense. And then this is the paper that I'm going to cut out like a scallop with my scallop die. And I'm going to be using this little glitter paper. Now at first I was going to do these little bad boys, but I didn't like the sizing. The sizing was completely um, 
was completely off so I ended up just using these little scallop guys and I used the bigger one so I liked this choice better it just worked for me but you guys I mean you guys use whatever you have I'm pretty sure you guys have like different um, die sets there's so many out there so I'm sure you guys have a different one and so what basically I'm doing is I'm just cutting out the backing that's going to also work as a support not only just you know to give it a little bit of a glitter peeping out from the edges but also as a support just to make it a little bit more sturdier and then once we got all four of these little bad boys cut out then we are definitely ready to build these. So now we're just gonna use our um, foam tape to give these a little bit of a 3D kind of look when you're looking at them from the front. And then these ones, I just cut them down because you could cut them in half. And You guys have seen me do this before. And then we're just gonna stick those onto wherever you want. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this clear paper and this clear paper, the acetate, um, we've used it on shaker cards and stuff. I'm just using this because this is gonna basically help support one of those little images to make it look like it's floating in the sky. And you won't really be able to see that acetate as much. And because we're using slick surface with paper, you know, I always use the Tombow. That is my to go um, if I don't use the hot glue then, but that's my to-go adhesive that I use. And right here, I'm sorry that I'm out of frame, but I had to put it close to my big head so I could, <laughs> I could really make sure that I was aligning it. And so all I'm doing is I'm hot gluing a little bit and then I'm sticking it in the position that I want it to be in. And you're not going to really worry too much about the hot glue because honestly, to tell you the truth, the little fake snow that you put in there is going to hide that that part it's gonna hide the bottom part um, and even if you were able to see a little bit of it I mean honestly it's homemade so I think it still would look cute this guy's giving me a hard time So since this is the first time that I'm doing these, it's just all trial and error guys. So we're just learning as we go. So then right here, I just decided that I was going to um, put him on the top because he was struggling. He was not trying to cooperate. So right here, we're just gonna fill it up with the stone. After that little puppy was not cooperating properly. <laughs> and then I put some of this little clear um, iridescent glitter inside just to give it a little bit of shimmer because you guys know me already we have to have the shimmer and I use a hot glue gun to actually seal this I'm gonna leave these facing down so that the snow is at the bottom and it doesn't get stuck with the hot glue until the hot glue is actually pretty dry and again this is just a repeat but the only difference is that these are gonna be the little kitties and the first one was the little dogs and because we were doing trial and error, girl, um, I was going to say girl, if we were doing trial, since we're doing trial and error, since this is the first time we're doing this, um, I learned from the first little setting of that one. So you're going to see how I position this one. And I'm actually able to use that clear little tab that I was originally going to use. You will see, you will see, guys. So what I do is I like cut it down and I kind of curve it. And then this is going to allow me to place this exactly where I want it. And so now it's just going to be like he's jumping in the sky. See how cute is he? And then we just fill him up with snow and then we place the little glitter and then the hot glue all around the rim. Just be really careful guys that it doesn't drip too much, but you want enough to where it's gonna seal that paper with that plastic. 
And then if there's a little opening, I just put a little bit of glue, just in case you didn't cut the paper exactly to the right measurement. And we need a little bit more snow, so <laughs> I had to go get another pack. And let's continue. So now these ones are gonna be the little reindeers and the snowmen. These are so cute. I love these reindeers. I'm gonna place one of the little reindeers in the front. I'm sorry I'm off a of frame, but like I said, I have to put this on my big head so <laughs> so I could see exactly where I'm putting it. Um, because on one, I think the village, I have it kind of a little lopsided. And I was almost going to use these two villages together. And, um, and then I thought, no, I can't. Because that village is for the other snow globe. But it would have looked cute. Did you see how I put it in the front? It looked cute with the two little villages. Like, you know. Like if it was a street. And how cute is that? The little snowman and the little reindeer dancing in the front. And I'm going to hang this little bad boy on the top. So it looks like he's kind of flying. And voila, isn't that cute? Fill this little bad boy up with some snow and some glitter for the sparkles. And then you're gonna put a little bit of hot glue around the rim again. Like this is all just repeat guys, seriously, this is repeat. And this is so simple. I mean, you guys could do so much with this. You could even add confetti if you guys don't wanna be daring to use this little flock snow. Cause I know that this flock snow is pretty static and stuff, but for the most part, it's easy guys. And it's, you could clean it up pretty easily. These little sceneries that I'm doing are so cute. I like the little village and the little Christmas tree and all the little elements I'm using. I think they just all go together. It's, it's nice. It's just you don't have a lot of room to work with, so you have to kind of pile them up. <laughs> we'll make him look like he's on the top of a hill back there. And then put these little bad boys in the front. See how easy these are? You guys definitely, I wanna see what you guys come up with. I know you guys are gonna definitely come up with some cute ones. There's a lot of ideas out there anyway. Right here I messed up, so I took them off and I'm gonna reposition them because I want, I, I think they were off, but like where I hang it. And if I'm not mistaken, I still think that it's a little off once I glue it all together. Just repeat. Oh, also, if you guys do make some of these little snow globes, you guys have to, have to go on to my Facebook and share it with me. You definitely, definitely do. And this is what they look like. Aren't they cute? So we're not done yet, guys. Don't get too excited. Not done yet. You've got to glue the backing to them and this is going to actually help support that. Make sure you kind of center it. It's a little hard for me to center it. So if I'm off a little bit, guys, I'm sorry, but it's because, you know, I can't really put my head over to look down on it. 
because if I did, I would be blocking the camera. So I'm trying to do it as best as I can. You at home, you are definitely going to have a, you know, an easier time doing it because you could actually look over it so you could center it a little bit better. But for the most part, I mean, mine still came out cute. Once I lifted them and I was able to see them, I noticed that some of them were a little off and I could have moved them a little bit, you know, more either to the left or to the right or whatever, but they still came out cute. Right here, I just cut the excess. That's what you've seen me do. There's a little bit of excess paper, just cut it. And that's what they look like with the little peeping scallop glitter paper. Then I'm gonna use some twine and some ribbon. This is some ribbon that was sent to us by Teresa Franklin. And we're gonna make four little bows which we are going to be hot gluing to the very front of the little snow globe. And that's just going to give it a little extra touch. I think these little ribbon is so cute. They have little bells. Now right here, you could either use ribbon to hang them. You could use, uh, twine like we are here you could use basically you could use whatever you want if you want to use one of those wire hooks that they sell for ornaments you could use that as well um the possibilities are endless here so you, you you could just let your imagination go there's so many different things you could use even eyelash yarn that really pretty eyelash yarn with the little glimmer of it inside now i'm not the greatest bow maker, but I really do try. And <laughs> for the most part, they come out okay. So you want to put your twine first, tie it up so that the knot could be in the back. And then I hot glue the little ribbon to the top. And then it kind of seeps a little bit to the back so it holds that twine together. So the knot will always be in the bottom. And that's just so when you're hanging it, you can't really see the knot. And there you have it. See how easy this is? I really love how these came out. You guys have to, have to try them. And share them with me, please. I look like a big old Christmas tree. <laughs> so that's how easy it was, guys, to make these little bad boys. I hope that inspired you guys to make some of you guys' own. Whoa, because these are really, really easy to do. So um, you guys saw there really isn't that many supplies that you need to make these little bad boys, but they're really, really easy. And I hope you guys try them out. And like always, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as well as that notification bell icon so you guys will be notified every time I upload a video. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, goodbye, my little crafty monster.